I'm here with Jennifer Westfelt, who has made her directorial debut hours ago in Friends with Kids. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. It was awesome. It Thank played you so, much. so well. It was got all the laughs in all the right places. People were loving it. I was like taking polls as everyone was exiting. <laughs> it was very exciting for me. Oh, thanks, babe. Uh, you were here 10 years ago with Kissing Jessica Song. I was. I was a mere 10 years ago. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm slow in the uptake. You know, it takes me a while to, uh, to get things done. But, but you had another movie in there, too. I called... did. We just weren't in Toronto with it, Iron Abbey. Right. So this is sort of the third of, I, I hope, some sort of trilogy of It felt like a trilogy. Of rom coms, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It did feel like a trilogy to me, actually. Uh, it feels like a complete uh, DVD set. Box set? Yeah. That's yeah. what we're selling here today. That's We're hawking a, a, a yet to be DVD set, right? Um, absolutely. <laughs> now, as a uh, friend with kids, yes. uh, I uh, recognize a lot of uh, parts of my life, as anybody would. There's so many universal truths in this film, which is why I think it played so well. Okay. And a lot of uh, crying and laughing and humiliation and kind of <laughs> joy at your own humiliation, realizing that you are not alone and uh, failing at times as a parent. Uh, where did this come from for you? Because obviously you wrote it and that's not easy and then you directed it and that's not easy and then you starred in it, which actually isn't easy either. But you all made, you made it look good and you look good tonight. But Thanks. Thank you. Um, I mean, I think, you know, I started, I wrote sort of the first half of this movie about four years ago when our first friends started having babies and, you know, when you're, when you're childless and watching your friends go through this big life change and you suddenly don't get your one-on-one -on -one time with them and they sort of disappear off the face of the earth for a while and for a while you only get to see them at kid-related activities and if you don't have a kid you feel sort of um, you know out of the loop and suddenly they have new friends because they're friends with other parents rather than you and um, you know we just observed a lot of friends kind of undergo the transition in different ways and I wanted to kind of ruminate on how couples in particular deal with the, the strains of, of the early part of uh, the transition to parenthood and how different couples um, just just cope with it and change and change and grow together and how their friendships change and that's sort of what the movie's about just looking at the relationships the friendships the romances and how they all evolve and and change under the strain and then ultimately the you know glory of being parents I mm -hmm. guess how, how is it working with kids it's so hard. <laughs> I mean, we you have a lot of kids lucky. in this we movie. We were so lucky. We we had a 24-day shoot in New York in the worst winter in 40 years, uh, and uh, and we had kids and toddlers. We had babies and toddlers. I think about 19 of those 24. Well, because it spans four years. Basically, it spans four like years and five then year, two more yeah, years, right? Yeah, yeah, five years plus. How um, for you was the transition behind the camera? Was that daunting. I mean, I know you had, obviously, Mike Nichols uh, read this and came on very, very early as an executive producer, which is a he huge was the godfather of this project, yes. Right, and then, exciting. and then Jake Kasdan, who right. was essentially, I would never have directed this if, if Jake hadn't have been aboard, because he was sort of my second eyes and ears on set when I was on camera. Mm -hmm. And that was sort of the deal going in, because I wanted Jake to direct the movie. <laughs> he wanted to, but he was, you know, involved with Bad Teacher, mm -hmm. and we had no idea when that would end, and he kind of kept doubling back to me and saying, you know, not to diminish my enthusiasm, but why aren't you directing it? And I was like, well, because you're directing it. And we, we just, he kind of mm -hmm. challenged me um, to do it, and, and sort of convinced me that I was the one to do it. and. I basically, my condition was that he would be on set um, as a producer to sort of um, watch my performance so that I, I could um, just be an actor when I was on camera. Right. So right. that was sort of our, our deal. So and you got a great cast. The fantastic. most amazing cast. dream cast. It's, it's an embarrassment of riches oh. that this cast um, chose to do this tiny project for no money in the cold of winter. and trust a first time director it's 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 really crazy that that good fortune oh I can't speak English anymore. Whoa. look Whoa. Whoa. come on in Whoa. Whoa. are you taking this chair how are you no, voices carry there's Can a you guys... song like that hey right. how are you good congratulations for yeah. Yeah. Christa, pictures. how are you i'm good how are you doing you look lovely well, thank i know you, you look, look lovely nice. too i like the check and the Wait, tie it's a very fancy and the setting too. and the how's so canada so far I've been here since 5.30 in the morning. And yeah, it's he just got in on the red eye. Polite. It's polite. Everyone's Lovely. so mm -hmm. nice. Uh, John Hamm, how is it? Uh, this isn't your first time being directed by Miss Westall. Well, you directed, a... yes. I've never done Oh, my God, that's right. Yeah. You were in, I remember, uh, Kissing Jessica Stein. And Iron Abbey. Mm -hmm. And in Iron Abbey. 
but this is your first time. I mean, I'm sure you're directed a lot I'm in life often off directed. camera yes. by <laughs> Please Jen. stop doing that. that. But how is it to be directed uh, on camera? Uh, great, honestly. Um, I was saying to somebody, it was like, all you want in a director is intelligence and, and creativity and, and the freedom to kind of bring something else to the to what's there and, and also a, a diligence to, to really know the material inside and out and and that's what Jen has on this times a million and it's it's sort of like a, a, a dream situation in many ways and uh, and we was, got to spend time together we actually got to hang out which, is, which we never do because mm -hmm. we're always working on either different coasts mm -hmm. or different projects or whatever and so it was really really nice the whole cast was awesome I love seeing it all come together it was fantastic thank you